Hey there, it's Will from Your Career Mastery, and today we're gonna to be talking about the six tips on how to get started in your career. So if you're in your early 20s, or you just finished university, and you're saying, how do I get started? How do I break into a new role? Um, and how should I think about approaching getting started in my career? These are the six tips that when I've looked back at how I got started, and uh, what worked for me, then these are the sort of six principles that I would consider and I follow and sort of the tips that I would give you or give to a younger me if I was getting started again. So the first one is to start with your strengths. So the hardest place in your career is how do you get started? Like where do you go first? So you gotta start with what you're interested in, what you enjoy and what you're already good at. So when I started my career, I was naturally interested in writing. So writing blogs and writing articles and things like that. So I started looking for jobs as an editor in publishing, article writing, freelance article writing for all kinds of different publications. One was for a small business, like a distribution company. One was for a arts blog, like a creative arts blog here in Australia that did articles on like performing arts and artists and all that sort of stuff based up in Sydney, although I live here in Melbourne, it's a freelance role. But then I ended up landing my first job as a direct response copywriter for a really small marketing agency here in Melbourne. But I started with what I liked, which was writing and editing and all that sort of thing. And I started with what I'm good at. So it was a strength, it was a foundation I already had and something that I knew that I liked. And that sort of helped me pivot and give me some direction in terms of the kinds of roles I was applying for. And also sort of social media I was quite interested in at the time. Hard to imagine, but back then it was still very new. Twitter was new, Facebook was new, really showing my age with this video. But those were the things that helped guide me in terms of where do I start? So what am I interested in and what am I good at? So that's the best place to start if you're looking at how do you break into your first role. Number two, in terms of tips about getting started in your career and landing your first role, is just to be curious. So when you do land that first role, you wanna ask lots of questions. You wanna learn from as many, many people as possible. As soon as you walk into the door for that role, you wanna park that ego. You are not the youngest, smartest person in the room, although sometimes they might treat you like you are because maybe you're a specialist in a certain area, um, or maybe you think you are because I certainly did when I was younger, I thought I knew everything, but we really don't know everything, especially when we're like 20s. In fact, we don't know a lot. <laughs> so highly recommend you just mind the brains of the people that are working around you, whether they're younger than you, whether they're the same age as you, whether they're older than you, whether they're from a different country or the same country, a different town, same town, I don't care. This is a principle that I follow now in my current role. So I'm 33, I work for a multinational FMCG company. I can learn from the GM, I can learn from the CFO, I can learn from the younger people from me in my team. I can learn from the grads who are like 10 years younger. They've all got different insights. Everyone is someone that you can learn from and that you should be learning from. And that just it feeds you, that makes you more valuable. The more knowledge that you can accrue, no matter who it's from, is gonna make you a stronger, um, you know, prospective advocate or sorry, candidate in the market when you're going for jobs. It's just gonna increase your value to the market and it's gonna make set you up for more career success the more you can learn so. But when you're getting started, you definitely just wanna be curious about everything. How does it work? Ask people, take them out for coffee. People are usually more than willing to come to the party with you and, and share their knowledge and share their expertise with you because it's a bit of an ego boost for them. Positioning them as a bit of an expert they get to share with you. So give people the opportunity to, to share their knowledge with you because they'd be happy to do it for the most part. Take them out for coffee and just be interested and just be curious. So that's tip number two. Tip number three, getting started in your career is to build great, great relationships. So a good example is literally this weekend, it's what, Friday here in Melbourne, Australia. I'm catching up tomorrow with a mate called Josh, who I used to work with at like three jobs ago. Many, many years now, many moons, but we're still really great mates. We worked together at our first job at a digital marketing agency. He was the ops manager, the operations manager. I was the content manager or content specialist at the time. We're still good mates. And even though we haven't worked together at a job since then, we've probably spent more time not working together than we ever did working together, funnily enough. But we still stay in touch. And even from a network perspective, from a career perspective, that those relationships that you form, they form a, like a sort of an intellectual capital in your 
in your career because you're not gonna be an expert in absolutely everything. So these relationships that you form, you can come back to these people and ask questions and say, hey, do you know what's happening in this space at the moment? Because they'll be uh, an expert in their own particular area. So keeping these relationships and forming a really good basis for them early in your career, these people follow you. If you work in a particular industry, there's a good chance you're gonna run into the same people again and again and again. So you wanna have great relationships because they'll say good things about you. Maybe they'll be a reference for a role. Maybe you need to get some knowledge in a particular area or, or you wanna chew that their brain about something. Um, these relationships are great long-term assets for your career, but also just on a personal level, like I've got a lot of really great friends that I made early in my career, still making plenty of good friends in my current role, um, but those friends from your early days, they, they stay with you, and again, they're just great assets to have, so highly recommend whatever role you're in, don't try and be some ladder-climbing, Machiavellian person, form great relationships, because your career is a marathon, not a sprint. You need support, you need people along the way. So it's super important to build great relationships. Tip number four is about just making the most of the opportunities available to you. So in that first role, and even, even in my current role, I try to say yes, not to everything. Obviously you've got to set clear boundaries and set priorities, but where really cool opportunities come up, you want to be flexible and you want to make the most of them. And when you're young, and you're trying to find out in your career what you like, what you enjoy, and what's out there. You kind of have to say yes to more things than you say no to, because that sets you up to just to learn, to broaden your experience, and to really build um, your knowledge in different areas, and maybe you'll form new relationships and new connections through these new experiences and new opportunities. So be open-minded, be curious, and when opportunities come up, have a crack, give it a shot, see what happens. You know, Stay open-minded with these things, because you really never know what an opportunity is gonna to lead to. I could tell you so many examples of people who have just said yes to things and those have led to really cool jobs or cool meetings or a conference or an interesting chat or another job several years down the line. But it all started from the seed of that one opportunity that they just took a chance on and said yes to. So stay open-minded, stay flexible, and yeah, be open to opportunities when they present themselves to you. Tip number five for getting started in your career is don't try and pigeonhole yourself to working for just a particular business or a particular industry. Variety is the spice of life, and I can look back at all the different businesses that I've worked for and say that I've learned something really different from every single business that has then built a really incredibly flexible knowledge set that has set me in good stead and helped me land the job that I'm in today. So to give an example, I've worked catering jobs when I was at university and I was studying. So it was like serving drinks and stuff at the football or at concerts or at functions. I've worked for um, a wholesale health food manufacturing or distribution company. So there was like a warehouse distribution for health foods here in Australia. So I managed their website, but I also worked in the warehouse as well. Worked for a digital marketing agency here in Melbourne. So creating websites and writing digital marketing campaigns and things like that. But I also got a lot of really great exposure to other businesses through working with a variety of clients in that role. I've worked for an insurance tech company, so that was my previous role, it was like a, a financial services comparison site based here in Melbourne, Australia. There was like a tech company, website, performance, digital marketing, all that sort of thing. And now I work for a global multinational billion, multi-billion dollar FMCG company that are, yeah, I think they're based in the States, but I work here in the Melbourne office here in Australia. So total massive variety of different businesses, different products, industries, ways of working, different roles, different structures. And each jump has been difficult because I've had to learn so many new things, but that's given me so much more insight and flexibility into how different businesses work that you can start of you start to be able to build a really topographical view of the different areas of business and what you like and what you enjoy. And as you build that view, you can start to narrow your focus in terms of what kind of places you really like to work and where you see opportunities for your future in your career. Last tip, number six, is just to enjoy it. You know, Getting started in your career is never easy, but, and you're never gonna have, there's no expectation that you need to have it all figured out now at age 20. You want to, you're probably impatient. I was super impatient. I wanted to be rich, I wanted to be famous, I wanted to be in a high flying job, I wanted to be paid more, I wanted a nice car, all that sort of stuff. Those good things can come in time. 
but you're at a special time at the start of your career, enjoy it, be patient, make the most of opportunities, build great relationships, you know, save some money, put and travel. Do both if you can. <laughs> save money and travel, set yourself up for your future, but it's a really special time when you're getting started. Find what you're interested in, find what you enjoy. That's the most important thing. You know, it's not about making lots of money, although that's great, but it's really about what's your contribution, what cool things did you achieve, and how much did you enjoy, and how much satisfaction did you get from your job? Because again, I always say your career is a marathon, not a sprint. You need to enjoy the process, you need to enjoy the journey. So find ways to not put that pressure on yourself, but just relax, you know, work hard, and stay focused and be strategic in your career, and make choices that set you up for the long term, but also enjoy it. You know, be open-minded, be curious, make the most of opportunities, and that's the best advice. If I could take my 20-year-old self who is getting started, that's what I would say. So that's it for this video. I hope you really liked it. Shoot me a comment below. Keen to hear your thoughts, you know, what tip you got a lot of value from, or actually any tips that you would have for getting started in your career, maybe what you would do differently. So Will Vaughn here from Your Career Mastery. I will see you in the next video. Cheers.